interview you quickly? I've been waiting to be interviewed by you. Okay, so if you were to describe Spy X Family in one sentence, what would that sentence be? The most amazingly fantastical, best spy slash family anime ever. That's a good one. Yes, thank you. I tried to get it all in one. So, Bond can tell the future, and on your cream minds, what's your power do you want to have? Taking classes. Uh, out of the two, or just in general? Can just I, in general. What? Any superpower at all. Oh my gosh. If I could have any superpower, it would probably be that I could reach into my pocket and pull out snacks whenever I wanted. <laughs> that is a good one. It is a great one, because whenever you're anywhere, if you're like, I wish I had some chips. I do. I wish I had a cookie. Wait a minute. And just all the time. And also, snacks get expensive, so you'll never have to pay for them. And then I could probably sell them. But I don't know if you'd want to buy, like, a pocket cookie. Oh, well, I would. It's a cookie, so. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I was over there. Adorable. Right. No, it's okay. Food's important. It is important. So yeah. What else? Do you read ahead in the mangas, or do you wait until you get your scripts? Uh, I like to wait. I did read a couple of the mangas. I bought one of them that had Frankie on the cover. Uh, but I like to be surprised when I hop in the booth so that way you can kind of see the moments as they happen and react to them you know kind of true what are you most excited for fans to see in this movie I am most excited for fans to see the entire movie but mostly you got to stick around for the end there's a post credit scene I don't know if I'm spoiling anything, but you got to stick around for post credit scene. I will, thank okay. you. Awesome, thank you so much. Of course. Oh, man, it's hard to narrow it down. It's just more Forger family fun, new adventures. It's going to be great. Everyone's going to love it. <laughs> and Bond can see the future. Anya Kareen Minds, what superpower do you want to have? Ooh, I would love teleportation. Yeah, that would be really handy, I think. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What are you most excited for fans to see in this movie? Oh, I'm excited for you to see... I can't really say it. It's uh, the, um, just Anya get to do a little bit of um, panicking. Get to be a little scared. Uh, and I, there's one special scene with a brand new deity that maybe not everybody knows about. So I'm excited to hear to see that one. <laughs> Um, um, I Bond can tell the future, like, um, and Anya Kareen Minds. If you could have any superpower, what would that one be? Ooh, um, maybe, uh, um, I, I'd love to be able to, uh, teleport. That's a good cool. one. Yeah, that's kind of a classic uh, one. The, the lead boy, I forget what his name is, it's eluding me at the moment. Yes. Do you have any anime recommendations besides Spy X Family? Ooh, uh, um, sure, yeah. Uh, I would say go watch Black Clover um, or uh, Pop Team Epic. Thank you very much. Bond can tell the future and Anya Kree Minds. What superpower would you want to have? I would like the power to freeze time so that if the alarm goes off in the morning and I haven't had much sleep, just freeze time, sleep for another six hours, then turn time back on you're right on time for whatever you got to get to that is good that's good um what are you most excited for fans to see in this movie oh i think i'm excited because a lot of fans also read the mangas so they know the story already when they watch the show but this is a whole new original story so they get to experience it all for the first time that's a good one uh, how would you describe Spike's family in one sentence? Ooh, um, adults and kids working together, but not really knowing what the others are up to. That's a good one. Um, so, um, when you, when you watch anime, what goes through your head? What makes this film standalone from the anime? Uh, well, it's a it's a contained adventure. You know, you could be someone who's never watched the show, and then watch this movie and kind of follow what's going on. Is it hard? That makes sense. Um, and, and hopefully that will mean it leads to some new fans for the show. Maybe some people will watch this movie with a friend and go, "I kind of like these characters," and they'll get to watch the show too.
And finally, do you have any anime rec recommendations besides Spy X Family? Oh, sure. Uh, well, if you don't mind a really violent, um, heartbreaking story, Attack on Titan, which I'm also in, is a really good one. Uh, of course, a lot of people love My Hero Academia. We could all use more heroes in our lives, and I'm in that one as well. What fabric do you like sewing on the most? Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. There's no mission. Do you think Lloyd and uh, Lloyd and Yor would have still gone together? Uh, I don't know. They still haven't gotten together, so we don't know. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I think probably they they're probably drawn to each other even outside the bounds of the mission. Um, Thank you. And so uh, Bond. Can tell the future. Anya can read minds. What would you? What would be your superpower if you could choose anyone? Ooh, I think Lloyd would probably be like a like a shapeshifter because he has to like uh, he has to dress in costumes so much. And he has to pretend to be other people. That's kind of his superpower anyway. So maybe if he could actually do that without putting on costumes, that'd be a pretty cool superpower. And. Uh, do you read ahead in the manga or wait to get the scripts? I don't. I wait. I, I, I like to be surprised when I get in the movie. Thank you. And finally, oh wait, uh, sorry. How would you describe your character and how are you like them? Um, <laughs> Lloyd is very, um, let's see, he's, he's probably the most skilled spy in the world. Uh, so his whole life is built around being an amazing super spy. Um, I relate to him in, in that uh, Lloyd is ultimately, uh, he's kind of an actor because he has to pretend to be other people and convince people he's someone else, which is what I do as well. So that's kind of a way I connect with him. Thank you. How would you describe Spy Family in one sentence? Um, <clears throat> uh, spy and assassin and telepath family have to save the world, but they don't know what each other can do. <laughs> That's a good one. And do you have any other anime recommendations not including Spy X Family? Uh, there's a little show, a, a little funny, silly show called Pop Team Epic that I did a, an episode of once that I think is really good. The director, actually, of this show, Chris George, also directs that show, which is how I got into it. Pop Team Epic. That's amazing. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. I love yours, too. Oh, my gosh. What's your name? My name is Lori. What's yours? I'm Megan. I play Miss Anya Forger. Amazing. So, Bond can tell the future, and as you know, Anya reads mine. So, what power do you want to have? Ooh, I was just telling someone that I would maybe want to do, like, shape-shifting, and then I could, like, make my hair whatever color I want, or, like just be whatever I want and so I think that would be super fun thank you um do you read ahead in the manga or do you wait until you get your scripts to know what happens in the shows I, I am such a big fan when I found out I was going to be Anya I went and I bought all of the volumes that were out at the time so I have read everything that is out so far for the books I haven't read the I haven't read on the app yet because Natalie's been reading on the app, so she's even farther ahead. But I just read the books, so yeah. Thank you. So, how are you like your character, and how would you describe them? I think that I'm like Anya because I'm really childish at heart. Um, I like I like colorful things. I have way too many like squishmallows at my house, like way, way too many. Um, and my dog uses them as pillows. Um, but I love buying cute things and adorable things and I like going shopping and buying things. So I think I'm just really childlike at heart. Um, and what was the last, what was the other part of the question? Um, how would you describe them? Ooh, how would I describe them? Ooh, I don't know. I think it's just, I think Anya is just so she's such a great little kid because she's so funny and but she's also so sweet because she just wants to belong and have a family that she belongs in so she's kind of got a little bit of everything that makes her such a fun sweet little kid where she just she has the best intentions so what are you excited for most excited for fans to see in this film oh my gosh there is a scene that is the animation is so gorgeous but also it is so 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 funny and I don't want to spoil it because I want people to go watch it but when you see it you know it it's Anya is having this like dream sequence 
Um, and it's really funny, and it's really gorgeous, but it's also hilarious. Like, I, it's so, so funny, and I can't wait for people to see it. So, yeah, that's my favorite part. Thank you. How would you describe Spy Family in one sentence? Ooh, one sentence. A spy dad and an assassin mom adopt a telepath daughter and accidentally adopt a dog that can see the future. And they all want world peace. Yeah. Thank you. Um... And what makes this a standalone film? I think it's a really great standalone film because uh, they um, they have uh, like they give you a really good introduction, right? They give you a great introduction at the beginning of the movie. They kind of catch you up on who all the characters are, um, and they set up the whole premise of everything. So I think it's really great for someone who's never seen a single episode to come in. Um, they catch you up in the very beginning, and then you can watch all of the shenanigans and the fun stuff that happens. And then if you really like it, you can go back and you can watch the whole show. So I think it's really good. If you were to meet any one of the characters in real life, who would it be? Um, I would be Bond because, one, I'd want to be a big fluffy dog um, that can lay around all day and take a nap. And, yeah, that's, that's all I want because he's so cute. I would love to be a cute fluffy dog. Do you have any anime recommendations that's not Spy Family. Oh, absolutely. I really, really love Magical Girl shows. So I love Sailor Moon. It's a classic. So if you haven't watched Sailor Moon, you should really go watch it. Um, I also love um, an oldie, but a goodie, is Cardcaptor Sakura. Very cute. Um, it's about a girl who has magical powers and cards and it's so much fun. So yeah, yeah. I, I love that one. I love Magical Girls, so I always recommend Magical Girls stuff. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Have fun. Thank you. What are you most excited for fans to see in this movie? Um, you know, there's some really uh, amazing, big uh, sequences towards the end of the movie that I think will be just really killer uh, in the theater like this. So, Bond can tell the future. I'm a Korean Minds. Which... What superpower would you want to have? Um, I would rather be able to know the future. You know, reading some people's minds seems like it'd be, you know, hard to filter out, you know? Like if you're in a crowd, like, you know, she kind of freaks out when she's in crowds, right? Yes. So, so what makes this film a great standalone from the anime? Uh, well, they go to a different locale. Uh, we meet some new villains. Uh, you know, they go on uh, like a they go on a trip, and um, and then people kind of weave in through the uh, from the rest of the series, weave in through the uh, through the movie. So you get an introduction to people, but I, you wouldn't have to know everything. They kind of let you know what's going on, and the people who know know. You know. Oh, here I am. How would you describe your character, and how are you like them? Um, he's a very good boy, and I'm a and I'm a pretty good boy. <laughs> I just want to see one thing real quick. Sorry. Um, yeah. Of course. Sorry about that. Um, and finally, do you have any anime recommendations that's not Spy Family? Um, well, I'm a big fan of fairy tale because uh, I, I, I worked on all 200 and, or 335 episodes of that. Um, there's a lot of great anime out there, um, but uh, Dr. Stone is also another good one if you want to know about science and how to bring people back to life. <laughs> Thank you so much you. for your time. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. So, Bond can tell the future, and Anya created minds. What superpower would you like to have? I would like to be able to transform into anyone, anytime. Master of disguise, but not because I'm really good at making the clothes. I just literally just want to transform, like Mystique from X-Men. Yeah. That is a good superpower. So, what makes this film a standalone, if you know? 
Well, actually, I don't know. I purposely didn't watch a trailer because I know that the trailer is just going to spoil it for me. I like to walk into something like this without anything, without any knowledge. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to go... Sorry. Uh, how would you describe Spy X Family in one sentence? In one sentence? How am I going to do that? Okay, so... Um, adorable family, but all of them have secrets. I guess. Is that hard? Yeah. Um, and finally, do you have any other anime recommendations besides Spy X Family? You gotta watch Furin right now. Furin Journey Beyond. Oh, it's so good. It's so sweet. It'll make you cry. And it actually makes you feel a little bit like Spy Family. Very sentimental. I really love it. It's about an elf. After she defeats the Demon King, she continues to live, but all of her friends kind of slowly die because they're, they age faster than she does. She lives for thousands of years. Her friends live for tens of years. And the guy who, like, loved her, who held a torch for her, eventually turns 80 years old, and he never got to confess to her, and then he passes away, and she just has to live with the idea that maybe she kind of liked him. It's very sad. You're gonna, you gotta watch it. It's so sad. I cried. Thank you for your time. Of course, thank you so much. I need more. If there hadn't been a mission, do you still think Loy and Yor would get together? If there hadn't been a mission? Yes, with no mission. I feel like they would have ended ended up falling in love or finding each other somehow. They're just their chemistry is just too too much of a flame for it not to happen. <laughs> I agree. So. Do you have any other anime recommendations besides Spy X Family? So, Spy Family um, is very much like a slice of life anime. I watch a lot of more like, I guess people would consider like more darker animes. So, I do like uh, Death Parade, which is one of my favorite animes. It's very short, it's like 10 episodes, and I think it's like a good short watch and it's very entertaining. Thank you very much. So. What are you most excited for fans to see in this movie? I'm really excited to know more about Yor. I feel like I know a lot about Anya, and there's a lot of storyline with Anya. I feel like I would like to know more about Yor. So I would be very excited to see more about Yor's personality, Yor's job, and how it connects with the whole storyline. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, that's awesome. Um, and Bond can tell the future. Anya can remind what superpower would you want to have? A power I would want to have is probably turn invisible. I'd love to turn invisible. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, got you. Uh, I'd probably also agree, because like, if you do something embarrassing, you can just... Bye! <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.